Hey everyone, it's Adrian Furry. Hope you're all having an awesome day so far. So my network is saying that I have low network connection. So hopefully this is gonna stay strong and stable for us. Okay, so today we are doing a live makeup tutorial. And we're gonna be talking about eyebrows. So um, this is Facebook Live. So if you are out there, give me a thumbs up, say hi, let me know that you're there and share any makeup questions that you've got specifically around eyebrows. Like obviously makeup is a huge topic and we're not going to dive into the whole gamut of makeup, but let's specifically zero in on eyebrows today. And I've chosen eyebrows for primarily because eyebrows make the world of difference. If you get your eyebrows right with your makeup, um, you are, I don't know, it's hard to put a percentage to it, but you're probably at least 50% of the way there with your makeup. Um, at least in terms of how pulled together you're gonna be looking, um, it's really hard to overstate what a huge impact eyebrows have on your overall appearance. So as you can see here, um, I've done my makeup, but I've left my eyebrows off, so to speak. So, I mean, obviously I've got eyebrows, but they are very fair. Um, they're quite blonde. And so when I don't have my eyebrows on, um, they're really hard to see and it makes a really big difference. You know, it's one of the things that I always say to my clients when I'm working with them, you know, I'll, I'll run through kind of the gamut of what a, you know, what the sort of bare essentials are for looking pulled together all the way through to, you know, like a, a little bit more of a pulled together day look to a let's dial it up, polished professional look and then all the way through to a more glamorous evening, really fully done up makeup look. And one of the key things that I always talk about is eyebrows, because if you do virtually nothing else other than eyebrows, plus you know a few other little things, but if you get your eyebrows done, it's gonna make a huge difference to how pulled together you look. And I am a huge fan of being in charge of my own eyebrows. So I don't want to have to run out and get them constantly shaped and tinted and all that kind of stuff. I want to just be in charge of my eyebrows. I want to know that um, I don't have to wait for an appointment to get them looking good. And really it's, you know, if you just invest a little bit of time and effort into learning how to comfortably do your eyebrows, and make sure you've got the right equipment to be able to do your eyebrows at home, you're unstoppable with your eyebrows. And that way too, you know, you're never locked into a particular style of eyebrow. Like, you know, that's part of the challenge with things like microblading and, you know, even, um, even tinting them. Tinting is obviously far less permanent. But if you get a job done that you're not happy with, you're stuck with it, particularly microblading. Whereas with the route that I like to go, which is cosmetic, just using makeup, it's very temporary. It comes on, is that Mary Frances? Hi, we're talking, we're talking eyebrows. So we're gonna do an eyebrow demo today. Um, so if you get your, you know, if you go and get your eyebrows permanently done, again, microbladed, um, and you're not happy with the results, then that's a problem. Whereas if you are just using makeup, let's say it's a bad eyebrow day and you're not happy with the results, it takes 20 seconds, you just wipe them off and start again. Hi, thank you for the love. Um, and so I'm a big fan of that. Like, you know, just the flexibility and the ability to just be in charge of how your eyebrows look. All right, so let's dive in. So as I said, I've done my makeup, but I haven't done anything to my eyebrows. So very first thing is, <clears throat> you need to comb your eyebrows. So this is my lovely little, I call this my brow tamer, and it looks kind of like an old mascara wand. Um, I love these kind of 
combs much better than the ones that are like the flat little it's almost like a bunch of really dense bristles that looks almost more like a toothbrush i've never been a fan of that style of brow brushes i find they just they don't do a good job they don't get in there enough and really separate the hairs and do a nice job of cleaning up the brow i really like this style they also go by the name spoolie you might hear these called spoolies so anyway first thing you always want to do is just give your brows a comb um, what you're doing here is you're shaping them a little bit. So even if, let's say it's just like, you don't even feel like putting any product in your eyebrow, at a bare minimum, comb your eyebrows. It just, it's amazing what a difference even that little bit of grooming will do to how sort of organized your features look and how pulled together you look. It's amazing, don't ever underestimate it. So just give them a quick brush. The first part of the hair I always like to brush up and then over a little bit. And then coming over to the tail of the brow, just give that a little comb. So shaping the hairs, you're also getting rid of any little bits of makeup that might be in your brow, like your foundation from putting your foundation on and any little bits of dry skin that may be in your brow. It's like a little kind of mini exfoliation. And it's funny, I had a client say to me and, and she's not really the first one that said this after I introduced her to brow brushing, she said to me in all sincerity and seriousness she said brushing my eyebrows has now become my favorite part of my morning routine i like it more than brushing my teeth which made me laugh because it's so true there's something once you start getting in the habit of brushing your brows there's something very sort of grounding and soothing about it so anyway give those brows a quick brush okay so what i'm going to run through here are three different ways that you can do your eyebrows. I'm not gonna get into a ton of the different sort of styles of eyebrow because there's lots of different ways of shaping eyebrow. I'm gonna focus more on the different easy products that you can use to achieve an eyebrow. And while we are talking about the style of eyebrow, the trend right now is to a really full eyebrow. So over the decades, eyebrow styles come and go like anything else and while we don't want to be feeling like we need to follow every single fad that comes along, it's important that you stay relevant and current. And so as much as possible, you want your brow to look on the fuller and more natural side, as opposed to a really thin, highly tweezed out, highly arched shape. And so I know for some women out there, for a variety of reasons, eyebrows have been really over plucked and over tweezed over a lifetime. And that's where good makeup can make such a difference because you can go in and really recreate a lot of those eyebrow hairs that you maybe have lost over the years. <clears throat> um, one more point too. So again, back to the eyebrow style. Eyebrow styles right now are like the really extreme, very, kind of fashion forward eyebrow style is very blocky. So it's got quite a kind of like a square, very blocky shape to it. Very um, kind of exaggerated, I think is a good word for it. That is not the style that I do my own brows in, nor the style that I teach in the sense that we don't need to go to that extreme degree. You know, if you're someone who's really fashion forward with your look, and probably a little bit younger, then you can certainly play around with that really blocky, square, extreme eyebrow. For the rest of us, we're gonna do more of what I think of as a really beautiful, natural, classic, sophisticated brow shape. And what that really means is avoiding the really harsh um, corners, especially on the inner corners of the eyebrow, keeping it much more natural, following the natural shape of your eyebrow. Yes, you can um, tweak it a little bit to help build up a little bit more of an arch, for example, but we're not going to take too much creative license here and cr completely refabricate our eyebrows. So we're staying within the realm of what nature gave us for our eyebrows. All right. So we're gonna look at three different products for doing your brows. The first one is one that I love. So what this is, this is a brow gel and it looks almost like a mascara for your brows. It has a tiny little kind of, almost like a ball shape applicator. So it's really nice and precise for getting in. I love this when I want something super quick, like when I literally wanna take about 
13 seconds to do my eyebrows and I want something that's on the more natural side like let's say it's just a kind of low-key weekend day at home or for whatever reason I just don't feel like having a really super done up brow I love this product because it tints my eyebrows so it darkens them and it has tiny little fibers in it that bulk up the brow in a subtle way so it makes the brow look a tiny bit thicker and then it is a gel so you can also shape the brow so I'll either use this on its own over a completely like naked brow with no other product in it or if I want like a super done up brow, I will go and do a full eyebrow with like pencil and shadow, which I'll get into in a second. And then I'll come over it at the very final stages and I'll do a little bit of the brow gel afterwards. And that gives me that huge mega, more of like that really fashion forward trendy looking eyebrow. All right, so here's the brow gel. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. Um, it comes in two shades. So you've either got the blonde one or there's a brunette shade. I, I kind of go back and forth between these. Even though I'm blonde, I actually prefer the brunette shade most of the time because it has a little bit more depth and darkness to it. But if you're really fair or you just like a super natural eyebrow, um, then the blonde shade called Blondie is probably the way to go for you. All right, so all we're gonna do here, I'm gonna show you how easy this is. So you just pop this out and I'm just gonna do one eyebrow. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna comb this in. You just follow the natural shape of the brow and you literally just paint it on. It's the easiest thing in the world. And I'm gonna go up backwards just to catch all those hairs. You kinda of almost wanna coat both sides of the hair. Go back over it again. And you can see what a huge difference that's made. So that's got the brow gel in it. This one doesn't have any. Isn't that awesome? And then I'm gonna go back in with that brow comb again one more time and just shape it and make sure I'm happy with the way all the hairs are laying. Boom. Easy, like it's just the simplest, quickest, easy product in the world. I did a little video about this, um, just like a really one-off Instagram little short video. It was probably about 20 seconds long. It was probably about a year ago. And I ended up getting like, I don't even know about a dozen women contacting me being like, oh my God, what is that stuff? I need it. And I've had so many of them that have become like complete fans of this product. So if any of you are out there watching this that are of that crowd, let me know how it's going for you. Um, all right, so that's the brow gel. So super easy, like honestly, like the easiest stuff in the world. Next option is to move into something that's gonna give you a little bit more definition. So you can see here, this does a great job of darkening and tinting the hairs and making the brow look a bit thicker, but it doesn't fill in the brow particularly. So say you've got a large area where you just don't have any hairs growing, maybe there's a little bit of scar tissue, something like that. That's where you want to take the time and energy to go in and use either a brow pencil, so brow pencil, and or brow shadow, okay? So we're gonna get into using both of these things, so brow shadows and brow pencils. And I'll talk about the pros and cons of each of them and how I like to use them. Okay, so we're gonna go in on the other eyebrow now here. I'm just gonna demonstrate this. So I've already brushed it, I already did that. We're gonna start with brow pencil. So you can use brow pencil on its own. Um, you can also use brow shadow on its own, but ideally I like to pair the two together. And why I like to do that is for a few reasons. One of the things with pencils, especially if you've got more sparse eyebrows, so say you're missing quite a few hairs or the hairs are really blonde, part of the challenge with brow pencil by itself is sometimes you can really see the pencil on the skin. It can look quite waxy, which obviously we don't want. The whole point of good makeup is that it's not super obvious what makeup you've got on your skin, where the makeup starts, where the makeup ends. Good makeup just blends seamlessly into your face so you don't even see it. So that's the problem with pencils. Sometimes they can look kind of waxy. If you've got super thick, dense eyebrows, you might be able to get away with pencil on its own. Um, but for the most part, I find people are better off using the combination of the two together. Skipping over to brow shadow, which I'll come back and demonstrate this in a second. So brow shadows are different from 
eyeshadows in a few different ways. One, the main one being there's no sparkle <laughs> in them. Brow shadows need to be very matte. They're very dense and the texture is usually a little bit harder. Um, they are still a powder, but they're specially formulated to go in the eyebrows. And so this is a brow palette here. You, when you are picking your eyebrow color, it's really important that it matches your hair color. So if you're someone who changes hair color fairly frequently, you're gonna want a few different brow colors that you keep on hand so that your eyebrows are telling the same story as the hair on your head. Um, you don't need a big palette like this. This is just what I have here in my studio to be working with. Typically, if you're getting a brow color for yourself, you just get them in these little individual pots like this. And so brow powder is great. Brow powder is one of the things that I think is probably the easiest thing to use next to using a brow gel is brow powder. It's easy to get on. So when I'm working with someone who's really new to makeup, I'll often start them off with brow powder. It's a nice, easy way to get going. Um, it's more forgiving basically, but the challenge with brow powder is it doesn't have the staying power that pencils do. So it's powder, so it wipes off quite easily. So if you are someone who's in the habit of touching your face quite a bit, or you're pulling clothes on and off over your face, you'll find that if you're not careful, the brow powders can rub off a little bit easily. So that's one of the main reasons why I like to combine pencil and powder is that you get really good stain power with them. The pencil and the powder adhere together and they just, it creates a really long wearing effect. So that eyebrow goes on and it stays on until you're ready for it to come off. The other reason why I like to combine the two together ideally is that you get the most natural looking effect to your eyebrow. It gives this um, kind of multi-dimensional effect where you've got the brow shadow is one shade and then the pencil's a slightly different shade, which helps to create that multi-dimensional effect, which looks more real than one flat color. Because natural hair on our heads and within our eyebrows, it's multi-dimensional. There's a lot of different colors naturally present. And so the more that we can recreate that through our makeup, the, the more realistic the effect that we're gonna get. All right, lots of talking. Okay, so let's show you eyebrows. So I'm gonna start with just pencil on its own. So again, we've got that brow is brushed. With pencils, you wanna keep them nice and sharp. So you need your brow pencil, and I'm using blonde. And the brow, the line that I, like my, my makeup line, I've got three brow colors. There's blonde, taupe, and brunette. Um, blonde is great for probably like 50% of the population. It's on the lighter side. Um, taupe is good if you've got any red in your hair. It's got a little bit of a red undertone to it. And then the brunette is good if you've got like super, super, super dark hair. Um, most people though I find, especially if you're a little bit newer to working with makeup, blonde is a nice one to work with just because it's not super dark. So just give it a quick little sharp bim there because you want a good point on it. And then all we're gonna do here, hope you can see me here, I'm trying to make sure you can see me properly in the camera. Um, we're just gonna follow the natural shape of the brow and I'm just gonna softly fill in the brow. And I was mentioning about avoiding that super blocky square effect on the inside corner there. Um, this is where, this can be like the danger zone, right? So we're not gonna go in and really emphasize that inner corner. I always like to stay clear, probably about an eighth of an inch, 16th of an inch back from the very inner corner. Just skip those first few hairs and that helps to give that nice softly um, kind of tapered natural effect to the brow. So just softly filling in the brow, working up to the arch, right? So we want that arch usually about two thirds of the way out um, along the length of the brow. And then switching the angle and coming back down so we get a really nice tail. Don't be scared to overdraw it a little bit. It's just makeup, you can always wipe it off if it's a little more dramatic than you want. All right, so just combing that in. Okay, so that's the pencil on its own and it does a really nice job. So part of it is having a good hand with it that can help to avoid that sort of overly waxy look that can happen sometimes with eyebrows. In a pinch, I will certainly just use pencil on its own. Um, but again, just 
use your best judgment and make sure that if that's what you're going to do that you are able to get it on in a way that it's not going to look really fake and you'll notice i combed it out afterwards so every time i apply any product to the brow i'll always go through and comb it a little bit that helps to disperse the product so you get a really good um, natural effect to your eyebrows all right next step is going in with the brow powder and to do that now, we're gonna go in with a brow brush. So this is a stiff angled brow brush, um, much coarser and thicker than anything you would use around your eyes. So this is a great brush. If you don't have a good brow brush, it makes such a difference. Um, for those of you that don't know, I have all my product up is on my website. So if you go to adrianfurry.com and go to the shop makeup web, like web page, everything is there. So I've got all the brushes there. Um, all the product, everything that I'm talking about here, the brow gel is there. I think I only have like one or two of the blonde ones. So if you know you want the blonde, um, grab that. But I've got quite a few of the brunette in stock right now. And all these tools are on the website. If you live here um, locally and you happen to know where my studio is, you can do a pickup. Otherwise, I ship any charges over $75. You get free shipping anywhere within Canada. Um, otherwise, it's just a flat rate $10 shipping fee. So easy peasy to get that to you. All right, so we're going to go in and do brows now. Um, okay, so I'm going to go in. I've got my little pot of brow shadow. Again, using a color that coordinates with hair. Brow brush. Okay, we're just going to pick up a little bit of that brow powder right on the tip of the brush there. And now I'm just going to go over and trace exactly what I did with the pencil. And that where I put the pencil, it'll really grab the powder. And so this is where you start to get that really crisp, defined, really beautifully polished eyebrow. Again, this is something I do 99 times out of 100, is I always have my eyebrows done. It's just one of the key things to looking super pulled together. You know, when you see those, when you see a woman and you're like, gosh, she looks good, she looks so polished guaranteed at least one of the many things that she's done right is her eyebrows. So never, never underestimate the power of a good brow. Okay, so coming up, coming back down, doing that tail. Okay, so you can see now how it's starting to really be a really defined brow. So this is the brow gel on its own. This is the pencil paired up with the brow shadow over top. All right, I'm gonna give that one more little comb through just to soften it. You don't want to over comb, especially once you've got powder in there, because then it can make everything kind of go too fuzzy. It sort of um, diffuses the color of the powder too much. And then you can get sort of this like halo effect around your eyebrow of brow powder. Not a good look. So once you've got the brow to this stage, just one final soft little comb to make sure everything's where you want it to be. All right, so there you have it. Like I said at the beginning of the video too, I could, if I wanted to really take it that final step and make those eyebrows like the main key feature of this look, I could go in with more of that brow gel again, which is gonna really beef this up and make this like a super dramatic brow, like more of that bold brow that you're really seeing in like the fashion magazines and kind of what's known as like Instagram makeup, like the really kind of trendy looking makeup. Um, it's, it's layering lots of product and that's where I would use that brow gel again if I wanted, but I don't typically do that. This is usually where I stop. I find that this is, um, a, a beautiful, very done looking brow just as it is. And, and like I said, it holds up very well when you take the time to pair those two products together. All right. Woo. Okay. That's eyebrows. So, um, so any questions, uh, Mary Frances, I know you're still watching, which is awesome. Thank you for staying um, and joining us here. Um, all right, well, I think we're gonna wrap it up there. Uh, like I said, everything, all the product is on my website and um, I've done my best with all the product descriptions to really help identify what shades are gonna work for you. So depending on your coloring and the warm, you know, if your skin's warm or cool, if you're light or darker, there's lots of resources and tools built right into the makeup website to help make it easy to identify which shades <laughs> are gonna be good for you. Um, and But if you know that you need a little more help and um, you're interested in learning more about how to do your makeup really well, 
reach out to me and um, you know as part of my styling work that I do I sit down with my clients and we do a hands-on makeup lesson because getting your makeup right is a huge part of looking your best so reach out to me if that's something that you have some questions about and I would love to give you a hand with that otherwise um, I hope everyone has a beautiful rest of the day and until next time bye everyone take care